сегодня 30 сентября 2017 года мы на пчеловодной выставке Апимонди. Сейчас подошли к выставке фирмы Апимае. Вот Василий Яковлевич, приятеленко, создатель Ули трехкорпусного с модифицированными рамками. Мы решили посмотреть для сравнения, как люди работают, какие у них приспособления, как они рамочки делают аккуратно. Вот сверху тут кормушечка такая стоит. Такой комбинированный в Апимае есть комбинированный пластиково-деревянный улей. Это кормушечка же, правильно? Кормушечка. Сироптик написан для тех, кто раз налили и пчелки, чтобы не утонули, закрыли, закрыли такой крышечкой, чтобы понемножку подтекало. А внутри сколько? Шесть, шесть тут, наверное, шесть, на шесть рамочек. На, на восемь? Сейчас открывайте. На 7 тут вообще. Три, еще четыре. На 7 рамок. 7 сверху тут такие пластик. Просто и еще пластиковой крышечкой. На защелочках тут есть. And what is the price for this five and for this five? Like they're not giving prices out here. Where are you from? Uh, we are from Ukraine. Yeah, if you email them after the show, then they'll give you prices. Yeah, just to be correct, to be correct. Commercial prices in the catalog. Yeah, yeah right, right. They're not giving out prices. At the yeah, show. right, right. Because it's variable. It's variable. Yeah, yeah. It depends where you are. Shipping costs to different countries. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, they'll work it There's out. There's a contact form on the back of yeah, some of the you. forms. Because here this is a combination. This is plastic one, and this is combination wooden and plastic yeah. all, toge all together. Yeah. And uh, this one, this is kind of like a nucleus for small, small uh, colony. Yeah. I, I just got English. Yeah. We just sell the plastic ones in the UK. Right. Ah, right. I see. But do we create also just like a multi-story behind, or this is only one story behind? No, you can go as high as you like. Yeah. Can be. Yeah. As, as well. so and you can have shallow supers. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. in yeah. the basement, just with a deep one, and just uh, on the yeah. top will be shallow yeah. deeper. Yeah. 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 But in the Turkish Republic, probably we use mostly like one or two, two boxes. Maybe they, five. In Turkey, they mostly use the deep. Just a deep one. Yeah. In England, they mostly use the shallow. Ah, right. Yes. Yes. In a super, super part. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But, but how do people say, uh, what, which region uh, the most productive here? in Turkish Republic, probably uh, the northern part with the forester area, you know, a difference. Uh, a difference. Different. Down in the south, down near the uh, Mula, they have the, in uh, Mula? Yeah, they have the yeah. pine. One pine tree, of course, yeah, pine honey. Yeah. So, yeah. absolutely. These hives are double skinned with foam filling, so they're well insulated. Ah, uh, yes, so yeah. when it comes to the extremes of weather, really hot and really cold, it keeps it more stable inside. Here we are. Makes that easier. You mean especially in the hot weather? Well, yeah, and, and cold. And in the cold weather too? Yeah. It's stabilizing the temperature inside. Yes, exactly. Yes. Mm. And here this is like for movement. This is a dividing board, so you can this is two nukes. Yeah, yeah. Equally, you can, if you've only got a small two colony, nukes. you can move that along frame at a time as your colony expands. Or just um, to put an age. It has vents in it so that you can merge yeah. two colonies at the end of the year if you've got two small ones you have one each side and then merge them open that two yeah but this is for through. evaporation for briefing yeah you, yeah and these come in here through yes that's, that's yeah. should, should that's, be coming that is yeah. Yeah. space and that is for the pheromones uh, ah, right. closed, uh, the closed one. if you're using it as two nukes uh, if you've got it in your group box and you've got a, a queen cell if they're going to swarm yeah yes, you, you can, can artificially you can split artificially. Yeah, right 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 yeah, yeah. so you in the same to, side, to make two nukes yes queen yes. cell on the other side yeah, yeah. Mm, well and are you represented like a representative so british yes, mm, so part yes. of uh, apimai but yes, in, Brit in britain in europe yes. yeah. oh, i see i see and do people uh, buy in just how many? 50, 100? Uh, Some mostly a hobby, so ones and twos. Sometimes uh, we have beef farm, I've only buy 20 years ago. 
Yeah. Um, We're not going to get rich on it. No. Oh, all right. We're never going to get okay. rich. Okay. Well, in Britain, not too many beekeepers, more or less, I would say. Mo well, most beekeepers in Britain are hobby. Oh, right, right. So they have two or three hives only each. Yeah, I see, I see. Um, I think the average beekeeper across the whole of the country is something like 2.4 hives. All right, right. Per beekeeper. I know some people becoming older, so they can even live in some warmer countries, like in Greece. Yeah. They're British, but living in Greece because, yeah. okay, if you have a pension, okay, yeah. you can have a beekeeping hobby. Yeah. Okay, and live with family. Yeah. I have a good connection with John Phipps. He is a, a oh, yeah. editor of yeah. a, a yeah. quaternary beekeeping journal. Yes. So we published yeah. several papers in his yes. journal. Yeah. So, My so. new one arrived the day before we flew out here and I left it at home. I didn't bring it with me to the Yes. yes, I've also written articles. Yeah, I, I lived in London one year, so I have a great impression about Britain. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So. We're out in the countryside, yeah. north of London. Yeah. I was working in Natural History Museum in London, in yeah. Cromwell Road, so it was a so famous place and famous museum, absolutely awesome. Yeah. It's a beautiful building. Right, right. It was quite many years ago, but still, this is forever. Okay, thank you for a short introduction. This is a great pleasure because it's okay, easy to understand each other well with just Turkish English translation. That's strong. Because people become a little bit shy, for them a little bit difficult to explain. But your explanation was perfect. Good. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It's difficult. There's not so many people who speak English. So, so. But yeah, for those that are out here, the two. Of course, it's easier to accustom to speak a native language or in a language which you can easily understand. Yes. Because we are representing here, okay, beehive from Ukraine, but our beehive, a wooden beehive, it will be here in the innovation section. So we put it over there with honey. It will be like section with honey and several beehives, not too many. Yeah. We represented ours because we showed here special frames, yeah. right. wooden and metal frames, right. very special, not, they are not plastic, but wooden and here the top bar is a metal, yeah. Yeah. is metal yeah. and gives some advantages, it gives advantages. We use uh, mm, what, two types of frames, one is uh, like a wide, wide uh, mm, okay, one is like this, okay, narrow deep, yeah. one frame is narrow deep yeah. and in a super, in a bottom box we use just uh, uh, wide shallow, wide shallow. So three types of uh, frames. And we have special advantages. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend who uses um, metal rods. I like this. So, so they literally they fit in here as a rod, just a metal yeah. rod across. And also we, ma we made a wooden box, and over here this is a finger joints, finger joints oh, right, like, yeah, yeah. like 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 this. It's yeah. also stabilized with uh, construction to make it. Because, yeah. geez, because they're plastic, you can steam clean them, power wash them. Ah, easily yeah. to, to yeah. wash it. So it gets them really clean. Hello, how are you? Right, right, right. Part of the joy of it. Yes, right. And these will go through a dishwasher. No, oh, right, right. <laughs> She's the one who puts them through the dishwasher, <laughs> not me. <laughs> I clean up the mess afterwards. Absolutely. That's interesting. Yeah, only just for uh, for majority of beekeepers, we are becoming a little bit suspicious because we say uh, plastic, plastic, uh, a little well, bit. We've been there with the English. Yeah. They're getting better now. Yeah. They've seen us around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, and they recognise us the second time, you know. Yeah. And also, uh, beekeepers are becoming more accustomed with uh, new technology, even with the use of plastic in beekeeping. Yes. Yeah. Probably so. I mean, there's quite a few uh, polystyrene. Yeah, especially. But it disintegrates, it breaks. Right, right, because we say it depends from the quality. If it is high quality plastic, it's yeah. not so quickly disintegrated. Maybe it can be disintegrated after 50 years. Yeah. Or 100 yeah. years. Yeah. And it depends what is ev evaporating from plastic. Yeah. Better quality, less evaporation. These days they say minimum of 30 minimum. years. Minimum. Minimum 30 years, probably more. Depends upon, you know, where you are, the sunlight levels in your country. Um, but, uh, because uh, most of the beekeepers were suspicious that it's a little bit not so healthy for honeybees. It's here kind of evaporation, they say what's going on, we don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're arguing about it usually. We argue. the, the plastic for here is food grade. 
Yes, so it's used for food. So if it's, if it's used for food for yeah. humans, it should be okay for bees. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, the yeah. argument. Yeah, this is argument. Yeah. That's, that's strong. These happy made the, the hives are built by yodin plastic. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yep. But he um, is so always been, been making outdoor plastics for many years. Yeah. Yep. But always it needs to persuade people. Yes. To persuade people to explain them arguments and advantages, we say. Advantages, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for presentation. Okay. Thank you. Great pleasure. Thank you very much.